I know where my families are so I can paste that address location here but in your case you wouldn't need to know these things your Revit should automatically open up where your families are uh, as I said my Revit is a little bit messed up um, so I just need to paste where my location is that's where I have all my families located and I say open and then I would need to scroll into USMP rule and such but you wouldn't have to do all that your Revit should automatically take you to this particular um, point uh, your folder structure here when you say load family this is where it should take you to but if you if you have saved your um, folders and if you have saved your Revit family somewhere else uh, this is the procedure that you need to follow you need to tell Revit where your families are you can also I'll show you in a bit once I find my door I'll show you where you can uh, find these locations as well so <clears throat> first things first I need to find myself a dough so this is where my doughs are um, I need to go into doughs and there are a couple of doughs that we can download we have the double glass double stove front whatever you want I'm gonna go with the stove front because it looks a little bit better I'm gonna go with stove front and say open and that should uh, load it up into your drawing now nothing happens you can't just place it like any other simple dough that we have uh, what you would need to do is you would need to go back and uh, load select this panel and then change the type and then you will see that dough that we loaded in the type selector so let's see how that works now we loaded the family you hover over a grid close to the opening that you want to select so tab a couple of times then until the glass panel you want to get selected selects or highlights and then click that gets selected then you drop this type selector down and voila you have your um, dough curtain wall double of stove front that we just brought in so we can go in and click and it's going to be embedded or it's going to be added into your uh, glass curtain wall and that's how you add doughs to your glass curtain wall yeah, it can be uh, the basic curtain wall or the stove front, whatever you want to uh, add a dough to. This is the procedure that you need to follow if it's a glass curtain wall. You can't just add a dough. Right. Now, since we have all that figured out, uh, the next step is to uh, add my mullions. So, to do this, I'd like to use the default 3D view. I can use this view as well, but I'd like to use the uh, 3D view. Go into this small birdhouse icon and just take a look at where it is ah we need to fix this um, so let's go here no plan I'm gonna now we don't need this so I'm gonna bring it back there we go all right so 3d view now we can go ahead and add more mullions I'm gonna go into architecture and mullion and the basic 2.5 uh, mullion just gonna click 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 Select your mullions wherever you want. Again, um, orbit a little bit. And when you orbit, there's a interesting thing in Revit. Whatever you select is what. That's a. It's too many mullions. Uh, so here we need to add uh, a grid line there. So now. When we add mullions, by default it has grid line set. In here, on this particular grid line, if we add a mullion, it's going to add a mullion underneath. That's we don't want that to happen. We want to add mullions to grid line segments here. So I'm going to change it to grid line segments and add two mullions here, one mullion there, right? And the rest is the same. So we'll go back to grid line. There we go. One. And this one, there's one, there's one, there's one. All right, that seems to work. There is one there, there's one there, and we uh, need to add a couple of more grid lines. Uh, so let's see. Uh, that, that, there we go. We need to add grid lines here. So let's go and architect. While still in here, it's gonna, it, it should allow you to add 
to align properly so I'm just gonna add it like so and go back architecture mullion mullion here mullion there mullions everywhere so there we go all right now that's done we can do the same thing on this side as well I'm not gonna go into that but I'm gonna let you do that uh, you can add mullions like the same way right and uh, add a dough here so you can you should be able to complete that um, the part of the exercise for yourself all right that's that uh, what we need to do now is as you can see if I scroll in a little bit zoom in a little bit here these corners don't look right I mean in real life you don't see corners like this in a class good warp so what we need to do is we need to select this and rectify this issue that we have so to do that I'm gonna go into and select or use my modify tool and just select this particular mullion here it's a little bit tricky you select the mullion and when you select the mullion you have the in the type select it shows you what kind of mullion it is at the moment it's a rectangular mullion but what we want to do is we want to create a corner a really nice corner here so I'm gonna drop this type selector down I'm going to change it to an L corner mullion. mullion sorry. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to click on L corner. And there we go. That's a nice corner. So let's select this one as well. Uh, oops. That's a bit tricky. So zoom in and. Um, down make it an L corner and you can make it a, a, a different type of uh, corner as well like once you select it and you drop it down it can be a quad corner eh, it doesn't matter it could be a circular mullion for it's worth um, but in this case I just want to be L so. mm, select this one as well L corner I'm gonna change this one. I'm gonna change all of the other million uh, other corners as well. So that's how you create the front cut ball. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is want to come back and add our cores. 